match then. Uh, Dominic Barrett, a real crowd favourite here That's in Barnsley, and he's got his own. Well, Cassie watching on. And will Dominic be able to bring home the point for Team Europe? That's the question. I'm going to stick my neck out here, Cass, and say I think this one's in the bag for the Blues. Dom has already met uh, Belenio once in this tournament and had a victory over 2-3-4 against a 1-99. And I'm not going to argue with your prediction. Good start. Had a good look at the practice balls that both men were bowling. And Bill O'Neill kept Certainly leaving the frustration ten. during those first couple of practice balls from this man. Don't know if you noticed, Simon, how far left that uh, Don Barrett started uh, this match. He was way left, almost going coast to coast. And Bill's out there as well. Not quite as wide. He's managed to get back and shoot a strike as well. So that's two each. Uh, sorry, one each. Just to start the game off. And uh, joining us in the commentary booth, right at the top of this match after two strikes, I'm delighted to say Mike Fagan. And... Uh, Mike, welcome to the booth. Welcome to Weber Cup 13. Enjoying yourself? So far, so good, guys. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, and tricky stuff down on the lanes, isn't it, uh, for the guys? And, you know, you've had uh, your fair share of interesting shots to cope with. Absolutely, yeah. The lane, this lane is uh, changing constantly, especially with the lights and the atmosphere and the heat and, um, you know, the rev rate out there. So it's, it's ever guessing. We kind of thought you got locked and loaded with nine strikes in that last game. But, uh, it's nice to get a win under your belt. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm favoring the uh, the fresher conditions more. My ball looks better going through the pins, and uh, I can uh, get a little more comfortable on that. Also, Mike, yeah, pretty pretty good season last season back at home uh, in the running for the Player of the Year, and then you came to Europe and uh, did some damage as well. Yeah, things are starting to come together. Uh, kind of started all at this event last year. You know, I think if you can bowl under these conditions uh, in this atmosphere, you can bowl anywhere. A shake of the head from Don Barrett. Fortunately for him, has to get the brain ball out, the spare ball. So his uh, maximum potential score reduced to 280. We went out on a, a bit of a limb before you came and joined us in the commentary booth. You probably wouldn't have said it if you were here, but I said it's a point in the bag for the Blues. Uh, but I guess you'd disagree with that. For this match, uh, Dom has been hot, but, uh, you know, Bill's starting to find it. He's definitely got enough games under his belt now. Yeah, we were quite surprised to hear from Bill how nervous he said he was at the start of this tournament. And certainly his first two shots in that opening baker would have suggested he was. Yeah, Bill had some issues with the lanes, uh, with the lane uh, when he first came out. But, you know, he's starting to calm down a little bit. He's got enough games uh, bold and, you know, he's starting to be the Bill we know. Now, second game on this lane condition. Any Anything that we can be looking out for? Anything the viewers can home, at home can be looking out for in terms of what the changes might happen? Well, I think that, uh, you know, the way that the guys are playing the lanes, uh, the middle of the lane is going to dry up very fast, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, in the third set, the third match uh, coming up. Um, but, I mean, that ball went high for Dom, um, but, you know, he's got plenty of room left. Uh, he can still move plenty far left. Yes, uh, obviously some of the guys actually almost get to the uh, left-hand channel, don't they, with their feet to uh, open up the angle of the lane, try and make that pocket. It's a little bit scary with that uh, that big cliff at the end of there. You don't want to get too deep. You might fall off. So <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. Straightforward spare there for Dom. Frame three. What do you think of the crowd in here tonight? It's packed, isn't it? Yeah, we got a great crowd here. I mean, it's always great up here in Barnsley. And uh, I don't know how many people we got rooting for us, but, uh, you know, it's, it's good to. At it, least. <laughs> it's good to have everyone here just supporting the whole event. That's two out of about 600, we, we reckon, uh, Mike. I'll tell you what, Bill O'Neill is really starting to look like the real deal here. That is the guy we know, and that's, uh, that hasn't come out yet, but, you know, I think it's, uh, I think the beast is about to awaken. Yeah, some fantastic rotation on this ball, more than it actually looks at the initial outset, but it really just rockets back, hits the pocket, right in the 1-3 pocket, carries all 10. 
Fantastic looking. Three strikes in a row for the real deal. Pressure then passes to Don Barrett, but this young man has repeatedly shown that he's capable of dealing with it. And just make that uh, little move to the left to try and open this lane up. Of these matches are coming down to the 10th frame. I mean, it's so close. You know, one shot here, one shot there. And, um, you know, things can swing big time. Yeah, it's been good watching, I must admit, but uh, it's been a little worrying as well. Never quite sure what's going to happen. Out comes the uh, Don Barrett spare ball. You, you, you've got to get yourself one of those brain balls. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if Track would love that, but, uh, you know, it is a cool looking ball. And what, what's been the talk in the American team camp? I mean, Chris Barnes said the spirits were high, but how have you been talking about approaching this lane? I think for us, it's all about just strategy. I mean, the teams are so evenly matched that it's, it's tough to say that one person's going to beat another person automatically. Um, so it's really just about when to put our players in, you know, and um, when they're going to have their best opportunity to put up a big score. And, um, you know, we put in Bill uh, in the second match last time around, and, and uh, he was starting to look comfortable. So, you know, we wanted to throw him in on the second match again, a little bit of breakdown. Uh, that seems to be his bread and butter right now. Yeah, he's certainly getting a lot of reaction in the back end and uh, selling the ball nicely, getting some good length at the uh, break point as he comes off the oil. Uh, at the moment, it's perfect. I actually do like this ball change from Dom. His, his ball seemed like it was getting a little bit too long down the lane and, uh, and kind of getting behind the head pin. <laughs> Certainly snapped up a bit back, a bit better in the back end, and uh, fiance Cassie loves that one. A bowler, a good lady bowler in her own right. That was from Australia, now living in the UK. And one more singles match to come after this. Stuart Williams up against the US team captain, Chris Barnes. And at this point in time, Mike, what, what would you take as a, a finishing scoreline for this session? Well, if we can, um, if Bill can stay hot here and uh, and Barnes can do what he does, you know, we could take a nice little lead. But um, it's been tough to win more than two in a row. Uh, you know, we've just been fighting back and forth. Um, so even a split would probably be, uh, you know, a nice lead going into tomorrow. Well, if uh, Bill keeps going, he's certainly going to put a point on the board here, which would make it 10-7. And as you say, if the American captain, Chris Barnes, can get one going, it could be 11-7 at the end of the session. And that would be a very valuable four-point lead. All Dominic Barrett can do is keep asking the question. As Mike Fagan said, decent ball change by Dominic. And again, that's just a sign of the maturity that we're starting to see from this young man making good decisions at the right time under pressure. And I mean, that's been one of the uh, the key elements to this Weber Cup, the number of ball changes that have occurred. Yeah, that lane is changing very fast. And, um, you know, if you don't see something you like, it's, um, it's something you don't want to force. You don't want to just fit it in there, you know, make the change, make the adjustment. And, uh, you know, Dom looks like he's lined in now. Neil. Still working that wonderful run of strikes, and uh, it is amazing how things can change. I mean, you've experienced this in, in Weber Cups, Mike. You know, you've had a poor start and come back strong, and Bill's doing the same here. Absolutely. He, he's looking like the Bill O'Neill that we know, and, um, you know, he's throwing the ball great. He's starting to get more comfortable out there with the atmosphere, with the lane, and, um, you know, hopefully he doesn't give Dom a chance here, because I know Dom is going to... Looks uh, pretty lined in as well. Poker Weber Cup, where Team USA are in control with Bill O'Neill perfect through six frames. Well, it's just a matter of uh, Dominic hanging in there as much as he can, trying to stay with the game. But Bill is six in a row, so he's he's halfway to where he wants to go. All right, next up, you can see how close he's getting to the ball return. Not as far left as he could go. And uh, another strike with this new ball. So Turkey for Barrett. Yeah, that one just got away from a little bit. Uh, came in a bit late and high on the uh, light on the head pin. And it certainly mixed them up and makes three strikes in a row. So he's looking pretty good since that ball change. It may not be enough. O'Neill then away. And it's good. 
My goodness me, he looks very convincing down there at the moment. Seven great looking strikes in a row. Trying to get this game sewed up nice and early, but Don won't let him. But uh, only a few frames to go now, and Bill May will be thinking, well, I've got the point in the bag. What else can I get out of this? Well, I think we've learned uh, in this Weber Cup especially that uh, it ain't over till it's over. So um, Bill's going to have to keep fighting, and Dom is not going to let him uh, let him rest. Yeah, we're calling that the TJ factor these days. <laughs> Barrett looking to keep his recent run of strikes going, but he leaves a 10. That's just about done and dusted then for Barrett. And the prediction of point in the bag. Not looking so good right now, I'm afraid, from Team Europe's point of view. Good shot by Dom, just um, maybe a little bit left to target. The ball got a little bit too long down the lane and just um, came into the pocket a little bit late. I mean, it's just a minute a minute adjustment, um, but you know, that's all it takes sometimes. It is fractions, isn't it, Mike? And, and we've seen some great pocket hits still leave a single pin standing. Has that got anything to do with the pins being nice and new? It doesn't help that the pins are new. I mean, they're definitely harder to knock over when they're new. You're not going to carry as many uh, off hits, but um, you know, when you get lined in like Bill is, you can, uh, you can open up that pocket a little bit. Fantastic stuff. From Bill O'Neill and Cass, at what point do we start getting excited? Well, we're, we're kind of excited now. It makes eight strikes in a row. Dom just trips the uh, four and the ten for his uh, foundation frame, but now it's up to Bill to uh, stand up, bury the big one here, and then he can stand up in the tenth frame and possibly shoot for the maximum. So this is the big one for him. Does it go through your head at this point, Mike, or do you try and keep that thought away? You try to keep it away. You try to just keep on focusing on making a good shot and just performing and uh, not worrying about the situation, just staying in the moment. O'Neill then in the foundation frame. Brings it home in style. Well, I'll tell you what, Cass, he hasn't used up his lucky shot yet, has he, that we always say you've got to... You've got to find on the Magic 300 game. No, this looks pretty good, as do the previous eight. And he will stand up next time to shoot a 300 game. Well, Dom just getting on with it at the moment. A bit like, uh, a bit like getting your putt tidied up and leaving the guy to win the tournament. Barrett's just going to get this one over and done with. He knows that... He hasn't managed to do the job, and it's a, a little bit of a shock because he's been getting a great reaction with his ball here at Weber Cup 13. But at the moment, he's been outclassed in this one. Yeah, all, all he really wants to do is just get over and done with, get out of the way, and as you say, let, uh, let Bill stand up and hopefully take a bit of glory away from this. They will move out to a three-point lead. Dominic Barrett then finishes the job off. And time for Bill O'Neill to step up, and uh, Mike Fagan, what's he going to be thinking right now? He's going to be thinking, just do what you've been doing. I mean, he's throwing the ball great, he's making great shots, um, and things are really coming together, so let's we'll see what happens. We will see exactly that. O'Neill then. Oh, no. No, no, no. That jumped on him, straight through the head pin. And would you believe it, the job is done, all the pressure's off. And he throws his first bad ball of this game. Yeah, not a great shot from Bill, but, um, you know, he got the important thing, he got the point. Uh, it would have been nice for a little icing on the cake, but, um, you know, he still bowled a fantastic game to get there. Yeah, Mike, you're quite right. The one-point win is the most important thing, and, he's, and uh, Bill's got it. So it's uh, another victory for USA. <laughs> An open frame to boot. Well, he says the team have been ragging on him all week here at the Weber Cup, but I guess you're going to leave him alone now after that one. No, that was a great performance. You know, he didn't come away with the 300, but, um, you know, he did his job. And um, it's nice to step up in the 10th frame and not have to worry about the point.